Hey guys, Kate Wilson here. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about the VersaTrack system on the Tracker Boats. I'm standing here with my 2022 uh, 175 Tournament Edition. Uh, I've got the boat about a year ago. Absolutely love it. Uh, but I wanted to put some rod holders in and luckily for me this boat has the VersaTrack system so I don't have to um, bolt anything down per permanently, which I'm super excited about. So. Um, I'll talk to you kind of about the VersaTrack system itself, uh, different options that you can use with the VersaTrack system, and then I'll show you very quickly how these uh, rod holders work and how I put them in. So first things first, the VersaTrack system is this rail you saw me point to uh, that goes most of the way around the boat depending on what boat you have. So like I said, this is a 175 tournament edition. Uh, so for me, this little ridge where you can install different things, loosen them, slide them wherever you want them to be. Um, it starts, it goes all the way around the bow of the boat, okay, down both sides. And then on the port side, it goes all the way to the very back of the boat. On this particular boat, um, the VersaTrack system stops here at the helm. It does not uh, continue past the helm and even past the seat um, on the back starboard side. There, there are no rails on this particular boat. Um, so I'm limited to, like I said, the front and then all the way down the port side, which I really don't feel is a limitation anyway, but I'm just pointing that out. So um, the rail system is, you'll see, let me see here. So the rail system is fantastic because like I said, you don't have to bolt anything down. They've got anything from rod holders, cup holders, uh, tackle trays. They've got um, little fillet boards that you can install and keep here. Um, for me, uh, the fillet board actually, now that I'm thinking about it, might be kind of a nice option. Um, not to keep on there all the time, but if I go out crappie fishing and um, I wanna fillet them up before I get home, that might be something that I store in the boat and then pull back out. Uh, for me, I probably won't keep anything besides rod holders on the VersaTrack system just because um, there's not a ton of room in this boat and I really don't want to be, you know, walking around and, uh, you know, kicking things or this be in the way while I'm pulling a fish up. Um, not to mention I've got the rod holders right here. So if things are in the way, I really don't want to have to mess with that. But that's the beauty of the VersaTrack system here. You can move it uh, wherever you want and it's, you know, 10 seconds to put something new on and take it off. Um, if I had a V-bottom boat, I, I think I'd have a little more on the VersaTrack system. I've seen um, some really cool tackle trays. Um, you can, so they've got little tackle boxes that you can store in there. Uh, but they also have little sections around the outside that you could put some of your bigger crankbaits or jerkbaits, things like that. So if I had a, a V-bottom boat, I think that's an option that I would opt for. Um, looks pretty neat, but since I don't, I really don't want any of that in the way of me maneuvering around the boat. Um, if I'm by myself, probably not that big of a deal, but um, I very often have, you know, two to three people with me, so it would get a little crowded. Um, so what I do have on here is the rod holder. Now, um, I got a pack of two on Amazon for like 70, 75 bucks, and I was a little leery about it because when you start searching things for the VersaTrack system, um, there's honestly not a whole lot that come up except for on Tracker website and uh, they're different brand names and so I was looking 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 like oh it's got to be the VersaTrek system I want it to work perfectly with it you know whatever don't worry about that whatsoever I got this brand the Railblazer ends with an A not an ER um, like I said off Amazon pack of two for like 75 bucks and they are so nice they fit perfectly um, I'll kind of show you about those here in a second. Um, actually, let me grab the package and I'll kind of show you guys. So I got the package with two in them. I've got one rod holder here, one in my hand. Um, it's just a very, you know, generic star style here um, that fits into the mount. So what's cool about this is you can buy the mount itself um, just like this. Pull that out easy you can buy the mount itself um, what I'm showing you here and any of your other attachments like for me I had a, a 1992 bass tracker like a panfish special and the uh, the mounts for that are bolted into the 
into the boat, but I've got these that I could use. So I did end up ordering two, but um, I've got two that I can just get the mounts and pull from my old boat and put those in here as well. So keep that in mind. Um, like I say, I look, I was saying you can get just the mounts and I think Walmart even has these. It's like the Sea Choice brand uh, for like 20 bucks. So um, if you already have attachments, accessories, um, that might be the way to go on that. Um, when you're looking at these, they come with different attachments. Um, I'll show you real quick. So no matter what brand uh, you're looking at, these are the mounting brackets you're going to want, the T-style. Okay, so they come with uh, a couple different options. For tracker boats, this is the style you want. I'm sure you can even buy these separately and then just kind of rig your own stuff, whatever it is that you want mounted. This is what you're looking for as far as what slides in the Versatrack system. So I'll show you real quick just a couple of features of these uh, rail blazers. Uh, these are a lot nicer than the ones I had on my old fishing boat. They have a lot of, or not a lot, but a, a couple different locking mechanisms, which is super nice because, um, you know, if you're like me, I was out fishing uh, cat fishing, a pretty nice bait caster and caught a fish. I, it was hot that day. I was swimming in the water with a couple of friends and went right over the edge of the boat, lost the pole. It's very, very upsetting. So I'm very excited about these. Um, they've got this that twists around and I'm probably just late to the game. I'm sure there's a ton of other brands that have um, the style that kind of twist around to keep your pole there. And it also has this that can lock in your pole as well. So I'm super excited about these. Um, these are way nicer than what I'm used to. So pretty excited. Um, you can leave this just like this. It's pretty out of the way, pretty low profile. Um, it's got a little locking feature there. And then of course these move to wherever you like them. You know, whatever angle there. And just a quick little button there and then pull right out. So I'll show you um, how to use the VersaTrek system, how to put these in, very quick, very simple. All right, so very quick, you've got these two pieces. You just slide those together, press it in, do both of those. Press it in. All right, so then you've got your mount here, the locking button right where that fits. You've got little rubber washers here, so don't lose those. Keep those lined up. These go on the back side. They're gonna be what slides in, so just kind of goes in like that. So one thing you'll run into is if this starts to slide off, you'll have trouble like I just was. So make sure that's pressed all the way on there. Slide it in. Slides in very easily. Um, once you kind of get it loosened up there, bring those over. Oops, lost one of those. Slide it on. And then don't quite tighten those all the way down and you can move it where you want it if you decide you want it right there tighten it all the way down and then that fits in helps if you unlock it this one's brand new it's kind of stiff there we go and then you can lock it into place and then unlock slides right out and then to take it back out you just do the same thing unscrew that making sure you don't lose that little rubber washer and then bring these out Whoa. right there just like that all right guys there you have it that's the versa track system uh for track or boats lots of uh different options as far as brands and different things that you can do with it um, like I said, you can buy just these uh, little mounters all on their own and then put anything that has uh, the little star mount there in there. 
Um, they've got different kinds of rod holders, cup holders, tackle trays, uh, fillet boards, all kinds of stuff um, for you to choose from. If you have any questions about the Versatrack system, put a comment down below. I'll try to answer what I can. Um, if you have any questions about the Rail Blazer, um, I can try to answer those as well. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe. Um, as always, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see as far as um, the tracker boat here. Uh, I'll try to do as many videos as I can. Thank you guys for watching.